<sighs> All right, so boom. It's my next video for the sunroom. Peace. Appreciate y'all for being here, tuning in. Shout out to the YouTube world. Shout out to everybody, REBD, Sound Village, you feel me? Um, so for this vlog, it's gonna be about vegan, but really I call it plant-based, and I'll get into the reason why. But for right now, I say vegan. Um, so why I chose being vegan? Um, let me say like Timmy Turner, internet, long story short, but for real though, it was the internet doing research and surfing the interwebs of YouTube and stuff like that. Um, I would say I'm interested in culture. I like culture, but I still do my own thing. Um, just like how I was saying about like spirituality, like everything has like comes from like the same ground principle, foundation, and shit like that. But being um that I like I looked into these like ancient ways as well as what's going on in today's time and stuff like that, I found that if I don't need meat to utilize this vessel to perform its daily task and duties like it should, then for me, what's the point of eating meat? So I'm gonna kind of backpedal a little bit. But the funny thing is I tell people all the time, like I wasn't always here. Of course I wasn't always here. Um, I come from the South, like I'm still in the South. My family is from the South. I got family that came from New York and then came to the south but predominantly like most of my people is in the south so you know how we get down you know how we eat and like <laughs> like motherfucking it was meat for every part of the meal like morning breakfast lunch snack dinner like always had meat like fucking liver put in eggs bacon grits all that shit man like i even tried bear once bears are my favorite animals but i actually tried bear once <laughs> but yeah then fast forward to like 10th grade um it was this video that came on like this was like when world star first came out like I used to come home to school, I mean, come home from school, like, every afternoon, just check World Star, just to watch the music videos and see, like, some crazy-ass videos, whatever they had up there. But it was this particular moment, this one day that I came home, and they were showing, like, the behind-the-scenes of, like, the slaughterhouse and the process of, like, the cows and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, shit, like, yo, that is, that's pretty brutal. Not even getting in depth of like energy and stuff like that, but it was like, dang, like they got to go through that. Like, I don't want no parts of this. So 10th grade, my high school year, um, I became a vegetarian. Uh, yeah, I still ate eggs, but for the most part, I didn't eat meat. Um, that only lasted for like a month because the way I see it now looking at Looking at it retrospect, I had no purpose, like no real purpose behind it other than like, damn, that's fucked up. That sucks. Like, I don't want any parts of it. But now, fast forward to today's time, I look at it like, I don't want any dead body. Like, I don't want anything dead in my body. Like, especially if I don't have a need for it or like a use for it. So if I can utilize these vegetables, these herbs, these, these seeds, these berries, these fruits, um, consume them and still get the same results as if I ate meat, but better, fuck yeah, I'm on board. Like what, that's a no brainer for me. So my hardest thing was I had, like I stopped cold turkey 
like, as soon as I got done, it was summer, it was like three years ago. So this is 2018. Um, 2015. I think it was 2015. Yeah, 2015, that's like the summer. I started doing like heavy research and stuff like that um, about food and stuff like that. But it was more so as far as like, I guess the fucked up parts about it. Um, so I didn't really have like any ground or base of like what to do, what to cook, what I need to get, what I need to consume so I can get everything that I need. So after that, I just stopped cold turkey. I didn't even know how to cook. To be honest, I didn't even know how to cook until I started doing like, until I, I, I made that transition. So I had to start from scratch um, with veggies and stuff like that. It really opened my eyes to like the variety that you can choose from too. And like all these things I just never knew about just because I was eating like a simple, diet I probably wasn't even getting everything I still needed I just thought I was because we got this notion in the corporation of the United States that protein is everything like fuck that <laughs> like you would never have like a protein deficiency ever like honestly like you gotta it's very hard to have like a protein deficiency but there's like a lot of other things to take in note and take consideration of what you're actually getting as far as like your foods and nutrition um, that a lot of probably like half of us not even getting might it might be more than half of us that we're not getting just based off of the sad diet standard American diet so yeah so it's like yo you tell me if I eat right I don't gotta go to the doctor. Of course, get checkups and stuff like that. But that is just X out like disease and shit like that. Like I got a lot of people in my family that's suffering from diabetes or like high blood pressure and stuff like that, just because based off of what we eat and we think that all right, we get this medicine, but I can still keep up these habits. And it's like. Nah, that's like hustling backwards. These doctors getting all this money and all this other stuff, like this pharmaceutical big pharma, like they getting all this money kicking off of us and shit like that when we're not educating ourselves. And like, these are things that we come from. Like, we come from being vegetarian, vegan, stuff like that. Like, this isn't foreign to us, but we just been indoctrinated. We just strayed away from this shit. But anyway, that to me, um, personally. So after all that, like learning how to cook and all this other stuff, my other thing that was really troubling for me was the convenience of everything. Like I was on the go a lot at that time too in my transition. So of course, like I wanna, like I'm seeing all these fast food restaurants. I didn't really know how to be able to like, all right, go here and order this and take this off of it, um, put this on it and stuff like that. I didn't really know too much about that at the time. So I'd probably go to like some Chinese restaurant or something like that, get like some mixed vegetables or something. Um, or if I go to the, to, the, um, to the store, like a supermarket or something like that. Of course I don't want to be eating those celery sticks and like freaking, uh, raw carrots like all day like nah man like I need something with substance like so I had to get into like meal prep like that was like a real struggle for me too like setting aside time to like actually meal prep and shit like that but um yeah man so working with that I already knew that I wasn't going to turn back like I'm usually, I'm, I'm an all or nothing person. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do that to the fullest with like all my heart, or I'm not gonna do it at all. So with that being said, I knew that I wasn't gonna turn back at this point because of what I know now. And I feel like if I know this, then it's like, if you know better, do better. 
type thing, like type situation. So that was like enough for me that me knowing that I didn't want anything dead within me and my body to fuel because I mean, your body's gonna have to work extra hard just to break that down anyway and to try to utilize whatever you think you're getting <laughs> out of that shit just to use for energy and whatever else and stuff like that. But um, going back to what I was saying when I first started the video, my issue with veganism now, now that I'm learning more about what it is, I tell people I'm plant-based. I don't even ride for that vegan shit no more. Fuck veganism, fuck any ism, period. But yeah, definitely fuck vegan. Cause the corporation of the United States definitely fucking like, if you like really pay attention to the things that they're trying to sell people, it's like, yeah, made the transition easier for people to feel like they're eating like imitation, like chicken, imitation beef, um, imitation pork and stuff like that. But that's not like where you end, that's not where you start, that's where you begin and you're really supposed to branch off to eating more whole foods like kales, um, like your salads, um, getting into like your herbs, cooking and stuff like, um, that's what I learned because this stuff is still processed, like it's fucking processed and it's, it's probably soy. Like, soy is really not good for you. Like, soy is fake as fuck. And some of these, that's for another video, but even some of these um, vegetables, like I learned that they're fake. Even some of these, um, the fruits are some, some of them are fake. And like, they've been like genetically modified. So we think that they're real, but they didn't really come from like actual nature. They've been tampered with and stuff like that. But, that's my that's my issue with vegan now like they, they pump out all this stuff like just to make it seem like it's vegan just because it doesn't have any meat in it but it still doesn't do anything for you it doesn't give you energy it's still dead to me in my eyes that shit is still dead um i'm not about to sit here and lie to you and say nah i don't eat it still sometimes sometimes i do have my lazy days where i was like all right I'm gonna just go to the store and pick up um, like some veggie burgers or something like that. If I don't feel like making my own black bean burgers, like I love black bean burgers. Um, or just mixing up like some kale burgers or something like that and like mixing up with that. But like, yeah. So you, like, you really gotta watch what they trying to sell us because it's still like, they still trying to sell us fake food and a lot of us just hop on a bandwagon. I know I'm definitely guilty of that shit. It's like, what? Like, pizza? Cheese? Like, I can still eat cheese? Um, I can still eat, like, this... Feel like I'm eating chicken and stuff like that. Like, yeah, they're like, cool. But that's not where it ends. Now, I want, I want people to know that. Like, don't stop there. Like, look into these things and, like, Definitely check the ingredients and stuff like that because even like canola oil, if you say that you're vegan and you really buy for that vegan as far as like not even wearing leather, uh, furs and all that stuff, you need to check into like palm oil because um, they, they cause like a lot of disforestation with the palm oil with like orangutans and all that stuff too, burning down forests just cause they can, so they can get this palm oil. And um, palm oil is another name, can't remember. It goes by another name um, that they use. Yeah, they usually put palm oil, I think, on a lot of ingredients, but it goes by another name. Is it vegetable oil? Even vegetable oil is not even good for you, but um, 
Yeah, that's my whole spiel on that. Ain't going to burn your ears off and talk your head off, you feel me? But yeah, this is why I'm plant-based. This is why I chose this and this is why it works for me because I have like a lot more energy now. Um, I feel a lot lighter. I don't feel as guilty as eating these animals and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, like I just all around, I just feel better. Like my movements, I got energy. Like my face is clear. I'm not breaking out. Like. I'm defecating, not just not to get too personal, but I'm defecating like I'm supposed to. Like I don't have any blockages or anything like that. Like I was like, yeah, man. 